got rid of the king in 1776. Um, just a few things. I, I'm inspired by Khalil, really. Uh, young brother that's running kettles. Um, it, it inspires me uh, because I work every day with young people. And I see uh, our young people are, you know, a little disturbed and turned off by what's going on uh, in the world and what's going on in their community. They're not involved. Uh, they don't want to be involved. Uh, they don't have any respect for elders. But if, when you begin to look at what the elders are doing, you want to know why they should be respected. Um, I, you know, and not only do I have respect for him, he's running against the top person. David and, Goliath. And, uh, you know, he's running against the top person, Lee Fisher himself. Who, uh, so, if that, if that doesn't inspire you to get out there and do that, that should, that should represent to you the fact, a, a, a new wave of what we're trying to do, that we're trying to pass power down to young folks that we're not trying to hold it in our pocket and, and, and we, we want to prepare for our future so you know we don't want to send our army home because we got a little bit of gifts ourselves you know the brother and, and what's deep about that is he was the one that made the comment about us being united yeah. and there's a reason that we're not united and I, and I don't want you to think that you know, we, people always come up here and say white folks are united. They're not united either. So, you know, they got differences and class differences and issues that they have as well. But the, the kind of unity, and I understand what you're talking about, the kind of unity that existed was killed by the fact that they began to give us things. And the things is what divided us in our community. They began to give us material and position. And when we changed... Uh, you know, revolutionary politics became black politics, it became electoral politics, they start passing stuff out, then we began to become divided. And then we began to talk about each other and try to harm each other, the very people we stood next to sometimes, to get the things that we supposed to get collectively, those people that were next to us became our enemies because they began to get in our way. Because they got personal favors at the expense of the entire community. And so we are still today being punished for that backlash. Our babies are dying as a result of the fact that some of us began to take individual things at the expense of our entire community. That's exactly what happened. That's why we are divided. It's not a, it's not a trick. We're not dumber than other people or we just hate being with each other so much, the fact is somebody got something. And people put their their money over this nationality that we keep talking about and position over that. That's what happens. They, 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 and, and that's why we're having this issue. People surprised that Cory Booker made those comments, but that is his money interest. About the bank capital, he is against Barack Obama fundamentally. You know, not just I'm against him, you know, because he's a pop, uh, Republican and I'm a Democrat. He could be a Democrat and be opposed to Barack Obama fundamentally because what he believes is opposed to what we trying to do collectively and what Barack Obama is for. Now, we, we even disagree with Barack Obama, but Cory Booker is way over there. Uh, uh, in disagreement. He's over there with Mitt Romney and, and Gingrich and all of those folks. So he's what you call a blue dog Democrat. So he's opposed and, and he's opposed to uh, uh, Barack Obama fundamentally. He can't even do anything about it. So the, the fact that he talked about Bain Capital is just him giving, you know, but it's not even a mistake. It's kind of like a Freudian slip, you know? The fact that, you know, those are his friends. He's been with them, and they said something about him, so he defended himself. That's what he did. So by him speaking about that, he defended himself. And you know, self-defense is the first law of nature. So the minute you get attacked, people attack back, and that's what he did. And he got caught and made a mistake, and then he blamed it on a Latino woman who is his, his Anna Torres, who is his publicist or whoever she's supposed to be, and made her resign. I'm talking about the mayor and the rest of this stuff just to, to lay out why we're doing this.
Because I don't think all of us are even clear why this is going on or even the importance of of, of, of why, is, why we need to be doing this in the streets the way we need to be doing it. This is the beginning of something huge. It's the beginning of something big. Bigger than what we even understand at this point. Our enemies know how dangerous it is. That's why they're working against it. That's why they're sending people Republican ballots who are Democrats. They're sending Republican ballots out because they don't want the people to vote. They're trying every trick in the book. And because we, we jumped on it the way we jumped on it, you know, it, it might not be as tight as it is, but it, it's going to get even tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. I'm telling you, they know this. So what you're doing is dangerous. I just want you to know that it's dangerous. You're talking about millions of dollars. I had a discussion with a guy about the, 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 the waste contract. I said, that's a 10 million dollar contract. Do you believe that those 